Hey friends! I um, was traveling this last week quite a bit and um, I was able to stop at several secondhand stores uh, along the way and get some jewelry bags or jars as the case may be. And um, so at this one particular store, I want to show you this piece I was able to get. I, I did pay full price what they were asking for this because I really liked it. But um, anyway, it's a jade carved piece and it was 10 bucks um, and it's on sterling from Italy. But it was just interesting because, you know, jade is usually green. And I just thought it was really pretty that they each piece is differently carved and um, has different things on it. And I don't know, I just really thought it was kind of pretty. I normally don't do that and spend that kind of money, but um, it was also... Italian silver, so let's just show you that. So there's the SQ, which is silver, a uh, chemical periodic table, and then oh, there you go, Italy 95. It's really tarnished, but um, hopefully you can see I like clean this thing with my fingers, and this one's dirty, so you can see the difference just by rubbing it a few times with my fingers. Anyway, so um, anyway, I bought that at the same place I bought this jar. So let me show you the jar and the reason I bought it. So they had about six of these. Just a couple women after me bought some were six ninety nine, some were three ninety nine, whatever. And I didn't get them because I didn't see any silver or gold in them except this one. And let me show you what I saw. So, so I saw this little gold hanging down here. This this gold but the one that I was really intrigued with is um where did it go now it's been bouncing around my car for a couple of days um so there was another gold piece oh it's right there and it just a little bit showing um but when I shook the jar several times Oh, here's the end of it right here. See, right? This thing. So what I did was I put my um, next to the jewelry. So this actually will stick next so you can see them coming up. But this one is kind of hanging down, not necessarily except for the shaking of the jar. And um, if it's got something behind it, that's magnetic. But when I was touching it to the thing, I couldn't tell that it was mag it didn't seem magnetic. But when I was shaking it, I could see the bottom part of the um and it looked like it was could be real gold um at the bottom. And the top I, I knew that they wouldn't have put it in here if it wasn't broken because the only time that this this store sticks any gold or silver in the jars is if they're broken or like an earring, one earring. Otherwise they sell it more expensively. So this particular store always puts their bulk jewelry in glass. It's usually in a vase or a jar and there's not usually gold or silver unless it's broken. So um, when I when I saw that one piece I'm like it's got to be broken so I shook it around until I could see it and it was broken and it does look like gold though. So I got my gold testing kit out just because it, because it's broken, the clasp is not going to say what it is because it's broken. So we need to test to find out what type of gold it is. I'm guessing it's probably 10, but okay. So we got an earring and a leaf kind of a thing. And I just put these in, in big containers. If there's just one of them, I just put them in containers and use them for scrap jewelry. Or if there's a lot of metal on them, I, I put it in the scrap metal recycling. So, um, all right. Okay, this is not magnetic. So, um, let's see if I can see any markings on it. It's plated. I can see the plate coming off. So, it's got to be like maybe gold over silver, but I'm not seeing any markings on it. So, it's whatever it is it's going to be recycled it's probably copper even the yeah let me just show you 
So it's not magnetic, but it's got to be over copper or brass. So if you look, you can see the black coming in through. Sorry, there's a little reflection. It's so hard with the lighting. If it's dark, then you can't see it very well. But if it's daylight, you get the reflective. Let's see if we can. You can see the black coming through there. I think you can see that even with the reflection there. So that'll just go in the recycling. Okay, there's a, a black beaded kind of an earring. We've got a pearl earring. None of these are real. This is a plasticky kind of gold bead, that uh, gold. It looks plasticky, but it's actually metal. So that'll probably end up in recycling. Um, this is missing a, well, there's the gold necklace. So there's the gold. We'll test that in a minute. This one's missing some beads in the middle or something. Maybe it's supposed to not have beads in the middle. I don't know. Anyway, none of my kids will wear it. So we'll just put that in the donate pile. And this also fell out and you can see the coppers coming through. So that's going to go right in the recycling because it's the, the gold plates worn off. Okay. So let me show you what I saw and through the, the jar. So I just saw it and I kind of like that looks like it could be gold, man. But what I saw was this at the bottom. Okay. So it's welded in when it's welded like that usually. Um, and what I mean by weld it is, um, it, it doesn't slide around like a jump ring. It, you can slide, you can take this and you can slide the chain on it. That would be called a jump ring, but this one is welded into place. I can't slide that ring around. And when that is welded like that, it usually is some kind of real gold or silver plate, but, um, and then I knew it. I said, that looks like it's some kind of real gold, but it's broken. And so they don't know what it is. So you can see it's not magnetic and it looks gold and it's not a lot of weight, but it's, it is some kind of gold. So in order to test that, you can buy these little kits with the different kinds of solution and you can see they say like 14 carat, 10 carat, whatever. So you start with the lowest carat and there's a black stone or a white stone when you get the kit. Um, and usually I just always in my jewelry videos, I'm like, I'll just test it later because I really don't care if it's broken like this, I'm going to recycle it anyway. So to me, it doesn't really matter because it's going to purify the gold anyway. So, um, so you can use a file or a scraper, um, or you can kind of scrape it and leave a mark. You can kind of see it's leaving a gold mark on the black stone. Okay, so I've got a gold mark, right? And then you start with the lowest, which is 10 carat. So if you put the 10 carat on and it, um, and it dissolves, then it's... Uh, if it, if it stays, then it's 10 carat. If it dissolves it, then it's a higher. Does that say, did I say that right? If it disappears, oh, if you use a higher one and it disappears, you know it's not that high of a quality. So if it stays on the 10, then we can go, and it's staying. I don't know if I can show you that. You get the some of the drip off. Okay, so you can see where it's still yellow, right? So I'm going to go with the 14 carats and see if it still stays yellow. If it dissolves, then it's lower. But you don't want to put a higher one on there because if it's lower, you won't know what it is. So you start with the lowest and you work your way up to the higher um, ones. And then you can find out what... what um, usually this earrings are 10 or 14 usually necklaces are 14 very rarely are they 18 some rings are, are 14 or 10 um, very rarely they're 18 or, or higher okay so now I'm going to put the 14 on
It's still there. So it's four, at least 14. Okay. Let's get the 18. And I'll show you that it's still... It. And these kits usually come with um, silver, 10, 14, and 18 karat. And um, silver is kind of a brown color. And platinum. Okay, so here's 18. Um, and you can see, let me take the excess off. I don't want it to drip on my computer because it is an acid. So you can kind of see that the yellow is still on there. So... Let's, I'm guessing it's 14 because it well when I put the towel on it it kind of disappeared a little bit so I might scrape a little bit more on so you can see it I can see it okay but to show you I'm gonna I think I'm gonna smells a little bit like chlorine the bag so I always keep it sealed it double sealed and they you can buy it online for pretty cheap they have them all over eBay or Amazon so sorry let me, don't I'm gonna scrape a little bit more on so you can see do another line okay so let's see there's another line there. Okay, and it and immediately disappeared. So it's 14 karat. And if I can show you, hopefully, um, it literally picks the gold up and moves, moves it to the edges. I, I don't know how to show you that. Um, let me try this. It, it literally picks the gold up and just pushed it to the edges. So you can see the 14 <clears throat> and the 10 are still there. And then the 18, it just literally dissolved. You can see where the edges, the line was. It just kind of picks up all the gold filament particles that you were on the, the white, on the black, or you can use a white stone as well, but I kind of like the black because I can see the lines better. So um, it just picked up the gold filament and just it, the acid just ate it. So <laughs> we know that this is now 14 karat gold. So... For $4.99, what did I get it for? $4.99, I've already got some gold. And um, that's $14, so I'm sure that that's worth $4.99. So yay for that. So the, the testing kits come in handy. And I've shown you in my other videos, um, if you haven't watched them, watch them, um, on how to tell, you know, silver and markings and things like that, that I label everything that I get out of these. So I show when I'm opening my bags, I don't show you that I'm labeling them, but basically what I do is I have these little bags that I stick everything in. I have different sizes and you can get them at Walmart, the different sizes. I bag everything that I get. Most of it goes into donations for girls to pick out at girls camp or um, <clears throat> Christmas stockings for the needy or um, the nursing home. I go and we sing to the nursing home patients and um, let them pick something out if they want it. I don't usually give away earrings. Um, I'll put sell those at a yard sale. People can clear them or whatever, but I give away pins and brooches, bracelets, things like that. So excuse me, I'm just going to rinse my hands off here. Yeah. It's a little acid on my hand, sorry. I don't want to put the acid on um, the other things I'm touching and I don't want it on my hand, so. All right, sorry about that. Okay, so the rest of the jar. So we already have um, silver, I mean gold. I'm holding something that looks like silver in my hand, so that's why I said that. So this kind of looks like a little silver clasp. Nope, not. So it's going to go into the recycle. Um, here's a earring. It's not magnetic. It looks like it's probably brass. I'm going to just double check and see if there's any markings. It's gold plated. It's similar to the other one that I have. So it's just going to go in the recycling. Um, okay. 
And I don't know how to... I'm trying to figure the best way so that I can show you things. Okay, these probably went in the center of that necklace that I was showing you. So there's those. Um, lips, earring, the recycle, broken earring, recycle. This is a lot of broken or plated stuff, it seems like. And broken earrings. These are all just going to go in the recycle. Oh, look. There's... There's a set of earrings. They look like Monet type. They're magnetic, so not real. Um, oh, it's magnetic, so all of these are probably just going to be, there's a lot of little broken looking things in here. It's like going to be just a lot of recycled stuff. The other earrings that we already tested, the other lip earring. Um, these look like they were at some point earrings. Um, but neither of them have a top on them. I could replace the top and keep them if I wanted. Um, somebody chiseled all of the diamonds out of these earrings or, or the stones. I don't know what they're using them for, but all of these are just broken. Oh, this is the bottom to a earring back, like hangs down underneath the ear. But once again, I, if you only have one, let's put it in the recycling. So all of those, none of those look real. They're all when we already tested most of the other ones that go to them anyway. They're all... Oh, this is interesting. This is a Brad. Hmm. It's kind of a sparkly Brad. Um, earring. A homemade copper bracelet. I mean, a ring. Get it out of the jar. Oh my, maybe these jars aren't the best idea. Getting stuck on them. Okay, there's a homemade copper bracelet. I mean, ring. Why do I keep saying that? Anyway, nobody's going to want that. Um, I'm just going to recycle that. Absolutely. Copper recycle is great. And I don't know, there's some kind of um, foam flower foam on it. That green foam you stick flower picks into. So we're just definitely recycling that. Um, really big hoop earrings that are stuck. <laughs> Get them out. There we go. Big old diamond hoops. Uh, the backs are broken off of them. Um, so they're just going to go in the yeah, recycle. So these are like seriously somebody has broken like the jewels out of all of these things. So there's going to be a lot of recycle stuff in here, it looks like. But that's cute. Look how cute that is. It's kind of a cute bracelet. doesn't look like it's missing any stones, so I'll put that in the dress-up evening wear thing. Okay, this looks messy. It's a black necklace chain stuck on a really cheap clip-on earring. My grandbaby would love that if there's two of them, but, and this, it doesn't look like tarnished. It just looks like it's a black chain. So it's not magnetic. Yeah. Um, and it's also broken. So it's not magnetic, but it doesn't look like it's silver. And there is magnetism to the bottom, and it's got a broken clasp, so I'm just going to recycle that. It looks like most of the stuff in here is just recyclable stuff. And we've already tested the other one of those. The clasp on this brooch is broken. But maybe I can take the brooch clasp off of this one and put it on this one. Um, except it's not really that exciting. Um, I, mm, I'll think about it. I will probably want to spend the time. Um, a home, uh, a homemade globe ball that says she paints recklessly, and it's a picture of a lady. I have no idea. Uh, kind of interesting. It's like a big marble with a. Looks like it could be silver tape. Um. 
but I don't know that it would be worth recycling any of that. Um, yeah, I think that might be silver, um, right there. So I might just break it apart and throw the silver in the recycling. It's not a ton, but it's just like a silver tape welded or something right there. I don't know. So that's probably going to go in the recycling because I don't know who that woman is and I would never wear it. So, okay. Big earring. Um... A chain so that would be cute if you had both of them and it's magnetic it's grabbing onto the magnet so a little pink stud a 70s pin I can get it out I don't know how to get these things in there without bent they did bend it it's actually bent so I'll show you what they did to get it in it's all bent if I can bend it back. All right, so it's a pink daisy pen that's kind of chipped paint. So I don't know that it's of any value once they bend it and chip the paint off. It's probably not worth very much for retro reasons. Yeah, the paint's peeling off. It's kind of cute before that, but so there's that. Um, I don't even know. Donate, recycle. I don't know what to do with it. The paint chipping off. I guess somebody could figure that out. Um, taped beads. Like they're Mardi Gras, Mardi Gras type of beads. They're not glass. They're, they're like plastic. So I usually put those in like recycle, uh, not recycle, um, in a little bag and put them in the pinata. I put them in the pinata pile. A R and a house of three little charm clip. Somebody might want that. I'll put that in the donate pile. Sorry, all that, um, foam from the flower pro thing is all over the place. Um, okay, there's an earring. One earring. One earring. A clip-on uh, smiley face earring. A pearl a pearl silver bead thing. Um, the picked up the word. This looks silver almost. It's very tarnished. Let me show you. It's very, very tarnished and kind of has a silvery tarnish to it. So I'm just going to double check and see if there's any markings of silver on it. Magnetic. Yeah, it's plated. It's silver plated. So no markings. The silver plate. It's kind of cute though. I think it would be fun to dress up for a grandkid or something. Uh, a broken leather. These were popular. I don't know the late nineties. Um, that I have any use for broken leather thing. Wow, this is really beads, plastic bead. Oh, it's a button, sorry, plastic button. Show you the back. That star kind of a um, broken earring. Um, aged earring, a really distorted ring that says I don't know what it says. So uh, because it's so distorted I'd probably recycle that. Um, it went earring, wooden, 
a hope, love, faith little ring that you probably was tied on to something at some point. Recycle, I don't know. Uh, R and another really destroyed ring. This one's the CTR and it's also cheap. Um, CTR stands for choose the right. It's a shield, like you'll be protected if you follow the right. So that one's not too destroyed. I'll probably put that in a pinata baggie and kids can win that. Broken earring. Uh, clip on with a broken clip. Mm. Oh, those are cute. They, it's kind of an cute idea. They have, there's two little crystal crystal and pearl earrings and they stuck them through a button to keep them together. Isn't that cute? It's a cute idea. So those are probably real uh, crystals. Let me... Okay, so more recycle stuff stuck to the earring, another earring. They're all stuck to the magnet. So not magnetic. Doesn't seem. But again, it could be not magnetic because it's stuck to the button. They just look kind of tarnished. It really doesn't matter. Anyway, I'm going to see. I've got a pair of. Um, Let me take them off the button. See if I can. Sorry. So, I'm just going to run my finger around them. I've showed that before. You just take your fingernail and kind of run it on there and see if you can find any engraving. I'm not seeing any. Um, you can run your finger on it and see if the tarnish comes off. And the tarnish is coming off, kind of. Can you see how shiny that one is versus this one? Oh, the light, you can't really tell. This one looks like it may have some writing on it. I'll just look. It's just spots on the... Yeah, I think it is silver because it's it's polishing up. I was going to show you the spots, but um, they came off when I was rubbing them with me. And I don't know. They are polishing up like silver, but I'm having a hard time. You can see kind of polishing up as they do that. So I'm going to go with those are silver. I can test them, but um, anyway, I couldn't find a marking on them. Earring. They don't look silver, these ones. They look like they're kind of other metal. I'll just show you why. Look at the backs. Usually silver doesn't have that type of striation on the back. Um, run my fingernail over the... Yeah, I'm not seeing it. But if it is, I'm going to throw them in the recycling anyway. Because if, it's, if it is silver, it'll just recycle in the silver recycling stuff. That's kind of pretty. It's kind of got a paradox in there or something. Let's see. So what I'm doing is running my finger along the back of that earring. And um, it's not magnetic. Um, the reason I'm questioning is because it's open and normally if they're open like that so the stone can get some light to them they're usually maybe silver plated or um, 
and sometimes it's marked on the back of the stem and sometimes it's on the back of the earring and sometimes it's on the back of the back of the earring but when it's this type they usually aren't marked with anything on them so these type don't usually have any markings on them it's usually the loopy kind so I'm not seeing anything it's probably brass uh, with some kind of plate but it is kind of pretty so hopefully we can find the other one um, this feels like aluminum yeah it gets tinny it does it's not magnetic aluminum is not magnetic but it just is lightweight and it's kind of a tin sounding um, an earring this one looks interesting. It looks like it's got some kind of gold on the front, like it's magnetic back here. Can you see it picking up? But then we look at the front. The front has several different types of colors of maybe gold on it. So, uh -huh, it had a tarnish plate on it. Some kind of a tarnish coating. Look, let me show you. So maybe it's silver and the magnet magnetism is just in the stem. Because this is what they normally put on to keep some, a silver. Um, silver is what they normally put to keep silver from tarnishing. So uh, let me peel that off. And underneath that's where it looks silver in the back. I thought plating was coming off. So I thought that, that that was plating coming off, but it's actually the film to keep the tar from tar anti-tarnish film. So let me see if there's, so now that I'm rubbing it, look, the tarnish is coming off and it's shining up like silver. Look at that, how pretty that is. So that was interesting. It's really shining up pretty. It still looks like some kind of a plate, though, because, um, let me show you. So that's why it was confusing. It's got these weird things on it. And I don't see any markings up there. Hmm. Let me... So <clears throat> it is magnetic, but it does look like it's got some maybe gold leafing um, and silver plating, gold leafing, gold plating. So let me show you. It looks like it's got a scratch through it, and it's black in the scratch. It could, and it, it does have magnetism to it, so there is some metals in it. I'm just going to polish it up again and see if I can doing this with my finger. Okay, so I polished it up, and if you look at the back, it looks really super shiny, right? And then you take the magnifier, and you can see there's like, the plate is coming up there, and there's scratches all through there, where the plate is not. And it is magnetic. So, and the magnetism is it's not just on the stem it's actually up here so maybe that gold part has is brass or some mild well, brass wouldn't be magnetized either so it's got to be some kind of other other but anyway so if I don't have two of those it's going in the recycling anyway but I just wanted to show you that um, let's see here's an earring looks like it could be silver looking at the back of it so there's that but look how um, it's kind of tarnished that back there Okay, so I was right. The back is, is silver. 
I get used to the look. Let's see if you can see the markings without me using the loop. No. So, let's see if I can show you. Right? It's because it's tarnished, it's hard to see, but right there at the bottom it says 925. So, silver back, which means this, this is probably also silver. Let me see if I can find a marking on it. Sometimes they'll just mark the back, sometimes they'll mark the stem, sometimes they'll mark the back of the earring, but a lot of times if if the back on both of the earrings is, it'll, it will be, okay. <clears throat> it is on the stem as well, so I'm going to try and show you it's super, super small. It's very, 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 very small. Hopefully you can see it. Um, right there, very small right there. Look how magnified I have to get it for you to see it. Okay, so hopefully we can find the other one of them, but like I said, that store is pretty much doesn't. So we've got one silver earring so far and a gold necklace. And it's taking forever because the pieces are so small. Recycle, Inspire 8, and I don't know what that says, it's way too small for me to see, but um, I will just put that in the, with the other getaway stuff. United Way brooch pin, not a brooch, it's a service pin. And it says, Union Made and... USA. And I can see that it's plate. So, no, it's not going to be gold. Anyway, so that's a pin. Um, cheap earring. It looks like it's brass plated or something. It's magnetic. Um, a button, flat button. Uh, some more of those, the other bottom earring thing I showed you, it kind of goes like this on the bottom of earrings. The stem goes through there. Somebody may want those. Just save those and ask. Um, cheap earrings, it looks like. They're magnetic, so... Keeps picking up the stem. Trying me out. Some little, not very exciting earrings. Um, cheap. cheap earrings. I don't even know if anybody'd want those. A bunch of beads. We tested that one. Um, a pokey kind of looking earring that's magnetic, and a earring that is magnetic. Maybe the back is just magnetic. Let's see, I'm running my finger along the back of it just to see if there's anything. It's quite gold in color, but it's almost too gold. This one has copper. So if you're looking at an earring bag or any kind of jewelry and you see green, that means it's copper and it's plated. So this is gold plated, but it's copper because I can see green on the back. Let's see if I can show you the green so you know what you're looking at. Let's see, where's the green? Can you see the green right there? If you see chunks of green on anything, that means it's copper plated. So, and the earring is also magnetic. So, both of those can go into recycling. And 
repeat. Um, not real. You can tell because there's not be there's no rope in between them. Uh, if they were real, they would have um, knots in between each pearl. So I don't even need to test. They're very light too. Real pearls are kind of heavy and glassy feeling, and these are not. So we'll give those away. Um, this is two chains that, okay, so this one is not magnetic. They're, they're tied together in a knot. So one of them is not magnetic and the other one is. So um, it's like somebody tried to fix one by ruining the other one. Okay, so this one could be real silver. And this one is I'll show you how they tried to do that. It's like they're tied it together um, using a jump ring or something. So, um, and if the jump ring is silver, it will be soldered and it won't be magnetic. But it looks like it's magnetic. So, anyway, this is a big knot. Um, if that's silver, I will put it in recycling because it's broken anyway. So I'm not going to fight with that while you're watching. I'll deal with that later. Okay. Oh, beads and garbage. Let's hope there's some more silver and gold in here. Okay, so the jar is empty and I've got a big pile of junk here. Plastic, don't want a uh, some kind of saint metal or something. They're all knotted together, and I don't want to take the time to mess with it. And it's all magnetic anyway, so um, I don't know that anybody would want these or some kind of saint metal or something. Um, I probably will stick that either in the gold pirate chest or in recycling because yeah, it does look like some kind of ancient metals or something. Like I could put them in the pirate chest and it would be cool. Um, a copper plated saint something metal. Um, you can see the copper coming through silver plate so I'm just going to throw that in the recycling. Uh, pony beads and a cheap kids ring. I'm just going to recycle that. Um, a black bracelet. Kid might want that. A half of a best friend's heart. Don't have the other half. I'm going to recycle that. The pony beads. Um, you can use those for Boy Scouts, a boy's kind of a necklace, but the copper is showing through on some of the beads and stuff, so I'm just going to recycle that. Um, one earring with that thing, so I just throw that in a weird bead pile and somebody can buy them. I have my yard cell. Some iridescent beads. Um, I, I don't have a need really for beads. I, I have mm, sufficient for what I need and I'm just gonna, I just put them in the donate. Um, people can buy them or whatever. A feather. Oh, well, all these, I guess it must have been a necklace, earring, something. I don't know. Anyway, they're all, all broken. So those are just going to go into the bead container. Um, it's a little kid's bracelet that somebody made, but it's got like pokies on it. Like I wouldn't put that on a kid. It's really sharp. So, um, yeah, I don't even, I wouldn't put that in a pinata. I would either donate that or put it in a bead thing that somebody can pull out of later. Okay. Broken leather striping from a necklace or something. Um, I can use this for scouts to put beads on, so I'll just recycle all of the pieces um, and just keep the leather for scouts. 
So this whole container was pretty much broken jewelry. Um, I don't shop at that store just for this reason um, too much, but I did see gold, so I grabbed it. That's a little pin, but it's pretty beat up. Um, we'll donate that. Somebody might like that. And some more pony beads. Put those with the scout supplies. Um, oh, this is part of that other necklace mess. That's not magnetic. So obviously it's um, it's a broken necklace. I don't know that any of it's going to be real at that point if it's all messed up like that. One earring. One earring. It's cheap cheap jewelry, um, broken something or other, a kind of a cool 70s looking earring, but it just won, so, um, I wish this was silver, I don't think it is, because look at the back, it just doesn't look like it. It, is, it looks like a plate, kind of something. Um, magnetic, magnetic, um, an earring, one earring, beads, a dangly earring, one. It's kind of a brass looking something right. It's magnetic, so well, most of this is all recycling. That's the aluminum in between the glass beads, but um, maybe it's brass. This one's brass. It's different than the other one. This one's aluminum. You can hear it tinkle. It's very light. This one has glass beads in his brass, so. It's not magnetic because it's brass. I like those glass beads though, stones. Actually, they're not glass, they look like stone. I don't know, they are glass. They are glass. Um, one earring. It's magnetic. And there's the other little cheap cross. Look at the back, it looks plated. That's the way it's not crisp. But somebody might want those. I'll pull the other one out. And um, then a whole bunch of these little, the rest of all those weird earrings, one earrings. A uh, fast way at the end when you're looking through all the junk at the bottom is just take your magnet and pick up all the earrings, and those are all not real. Recycling. Oh, and these were the ones I already tested at the beginning. They're not picking up. They're just um, copper plated, so they won't pick up with their copper. So really, we got not a ton in this bag. For sure, we've got one silver earring, 14 karat necklace. These, I think, are silver and one cute earring that's not real. So, and, well, and this, I like these. We got this bracelet and we got this necklace. So anyway, but a lot of recycling and I knew it had a lot of junk in it when I bought it. So we're just happy we got the gold necklace out of it for four bucks. That's definitely worth 14 karat right there. So thanks for watching. Um, feel free to ask any questions that you may have. And uh, I have several other bags, so I'm just going to go ahead and um, start other videos for those. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a blessed day.